What's up, YouTube? As always, it's your boy Sanchez Nor bring you another YouTube video. And today, uh, so we're in Mortal Kombat X, and um, so what we're doing today is we're actually going to complete. We're going to show you how to beat all these towers in MKX. So what I mean is that there are towers where you have to like do certain things in and like defeat certain people in. So when I find one, I will show you what I mean. Okay, so what I mean is like there are towers where you have to do certain things. But that's besides the point. So we're going to be talking about what type of teams you can make in this game and what teams are the best so like there's six there's five wait there's five there's There's five factions. You have the Black Dragon, Brotherhood of Shadow, and Lin Kuei Special Forces, and White Lotus. Okay, so there are certain teams that you can build in this game, and I'm going to explain a few of them and show you what are why they good. You got the Kotokan team. My Kotokan team consists of Blood God Kotokan, Sun God Kotokan, and Possessed Kenshi. Uh, you got, this is actually a customized team that I have, and it's Shaolin Master, Kung Lao, Bojufu, Kung Jin, and Liu Kang, and that's because they're all relatives. I have the Revenant Pack with, with, Quan Chi right there. There's a few other combos that's actually pretty good in this game, like using... There's actually a broken combo in this game that you need to fix, and it's called... It's like a combo where, basically, if you have a level 20 Ermac, and you have foot and you have X-Ray, all you have to do is put Ermac in with Morphle Katana, because Katana gives one... One teammate start out with one bar of power. Ermac will already start out with one bar of power. And since he do start out with one bar of power, that means... That he gains two bars for every other outward teammate. So he'll have three bars of power because if you will use two outward teammates. So let's give an example like Devora, Armac, and um uh a Morpho Katana. Morpho Katana gives one bar of power for every outward teammate. Armac gets two a bar of power for every outward teammate as well. That's two teammates plus one equals three. So you basically have an X-ray ready to go. So I normally just soften up them, just soften them up, soften up two out of three of their characters, and hit one of them with an X-ray, hit one of them with a level two move, and bam, 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 go for there. Uh, so okay, so like the Revenant Pat gives you like complete advantage. Like Jax is a beast. Jack's a beast. Like his toughness, he got the best toughness in the game. It's it's ridiculous. And you get like fifty percent health for every revenant card, so you get basically thirty percent health. So basically you got like five six thousand probably six thousand health. Uh sub zero gives you twelve percent attack for every netherround card on the team so it don't even have to be okay so it doesn't even have to be a revenue card it has to be it could be a netherround okay so we're gonna do some gameplay so we're gonna do some gameplay with this right here i call this my little family my family team i love this team it's my best team Okay, we're going against Revenant Sub Zero, Flaming Fist with Kang, and Revenant Jax Briggs. All level sevens, of course. Jax Briggs is equipped it with Executioner Act, which belongs to nobody. Cybernetic Arm and Brawler Gloves. Liu Kang is equipped it with his headband. His katana was the which. 
give a 30% boost to our teammate, but he's not. And a 20 toughness, which is the evolved form of hood. And finally, Sub Zero Revenant gets Ice Dagger, so he has opened up an Ice Dagger pack or whatever you call it, Outward Gear, which is evolved, and Medallion, which is evolved. Okay, so he's basically evolved all his cards, so they're double. They're double more powerful, so we gotta watch out. So I basically our plan is is to put him in the king first, and then basically just weld away until the king gets like two bars. Put in um Kung Lao, or Kung Jin, and let them so he can take they can take the hits. Put back in um Luke. They they get they shot some damage. Put back in Luke King and start hitting from there. That's a good strategy. Cause by that time they're early, can. All right, let's get started. So, like I said, let's put the Lucane first. Lucane well in the way on Sub Zero. Lucane already at two and a half hours. That's good. The moment we defeat Sub Zero, we're gonna take Lucane out. And if Lucane, and if he takes. And if his Luke King comes in, they'll just. I'm sure that Luke King. Okay, so his Luke King is in. So we're gonna see him get off a of X ray move. Luke King is well in the way now. I'm getting. Alright, let's put it Kung Lao. Kung Lao, one and a half bars. Kung Lao and King, basically the same speed. Come out this is taking the damage. I mean Jane comes in that did not that's this is getting bad. Fortunately the can is getting at three bars. So we can get this off on jacks. But this is Lucane like problem. So we can get our X ray off if we wanted to, but I'm not doing that on him. Because Jax has two bars, which is very dangerous. I just want to turn it right. All right, let's get up a, for the Shaolin, which will overkill Jack. Because my for the Shaolin. Oh, hell. Combo get you an X ray coming from the start, but my 18 is actually these guys. No, wait, no, it's actually these guys right here. My B team is the Cage family. My and my um and my 18 block is is Jax, Quan Chi, and it was Command. I know not Command King. It was somebody else. I can't remember. And my B team block was Blood God. It's blood got Kodo Khan, Sun got Kodo Khan, and possess Kenshi. So yeah, if you have like good defense cards and you have good attack cards, you can make teams out of them. We do some good combos and stuff like that. But yeah, and stuff like that though. It's really a good combo. 
and as well as later in peace through society.